This is the most exclusive political club in the world, the high-stakes table in the United Nations. To get a permanent seat in the game requires a unique buy-in, nuclear capability, the issue under discussion with President Trump in the chair. The five permanent members were not only allies at the end of the Second World War, but were also nuclear powers. No permanent members have been added since. Each of these five wields a veto. So any resolution one opposes is simply not passed, even if there's an absolute majority in the 15-seat council. What this sometimes means? The body is unable to carry out its prime function, the maintenance of international peace and security. Yes or no? The veto was used regularly during the Cold War period, resulting in heightened instead of decreasing tensions. The only unity in the council between the blocks of East and West, the US able to rely on the absolute support of its P5 allies, France and the United Kingdom. In recent times, there have been a flurry of vetoes in the council, particularly over issues like Syria, where the permanent five members have opposing agenda. But there's one sharp difference now, a US administration under President Trump that can no longer rely on the unquestioning support of old friends. I think that Trump's isolationism uh, is making even staunch uh, US allies like uh, France and the UK start to think about the need to work with China more, the need to prepare uh, to work without the US on a lot of issues. And you see a gradual but real drift uh, apart amongst the Western powers here. A possibly unforeseen consequence of the Trumpian decision to go it alone, the rise of China as a prominent, potentially dominant force within the United Nations and beyond. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, United Nations.